What is up everybody, welcome to this new video of TechExpress. In today's tutorial, let's take a look into how we can actually import products from AliExpress into our store of Shopify. The process is actually really, really simple. So the very first thing you want to do is to have a Shopify account already been created. As you can see, I have a Shopify website poll line store already been created and I have not yet created a first product or set it up in online store. So I don't want to focus in that. I want just to focus into how we can import our product from AliExpress. So the very first thing you want to do after you have done this, you want to go into AliExpress.us. In my case, I have already created an account. So I just need to go into site in and as you can see, I'm already, I'm going to import my email as well as my passcode and now I'm inside AliExpress, right? So after that, we need to verify our code with an SMS fault number. And after that, you wanted to go into the, uh, let's go back into Shopify. I wanted to look out for an actual AliExpress supplier that can be helping me to import products from AliExpress directly into our account. So I'm going to go here to Shopify, focus into the apps. And here into apps, you want to go into apps and sale channel settings. So you can focus into the Shopify app store button that appears into the upper side. Once I click them, it's going to be popping up this new editor section, this new uh, Shopify app store where I just need to type here my keyword of Ali express if i click into the enter mark this one should be sending me into a lot of places i just want to focus into one that has a aliexpress drop shipper supplier and of course you wanted to look out for the one that says free plan available uh, now in my case i think i'm going to stick around with the one that says dsus because this one has uh, five stars and more than 50,000 downloads. So I think this one should be fitting us uh, a lot to do the process. I'm going to click into this series. I'm going to go into add application. And once we have successfully done that, let's focus into uh, grant the access from the actual D series into our Shopify. So when you go here to install app into the upper side, and there we go. So automatically it's going to be popping up and of course popping out the new users app. So what I want to do is to create an account so I can go and create an account for you like this. I click the and then this one should be sending us into the pricing details. So you want to focus into the basic one. So the basic plan is going to be helping us to uh, process orders into bulk. We have customer support. We have 3000 product limits, three store limits, one PayPal limit, and up to two suppliers per product and no target region mapping. And there's uh, just a basic things to get started. So we're going to go into get started here into the free version. Now I need to link to my AliExpress account. So in my case, since I already signed it in, I want to go back here and go into linked to AliExpress. And this one should be taking me into the authorizations where I need to agree to the authorization terms and agreement and here into authorize. And just like that, this is, is now been going to be enabled. So just wait a few seconds here. I'm going to go back here into my Shopify, go here and leave it into the dashboard. So now let's go back into our D series home section. I'm going to go with here. And now uh, what I wanted to do is to look out for some product. If you click into the actual logo of D series into the upper side, I want to look out for an actual product that I wanted to sell here into, into Shopify. So we have the drop shipping guy. We have the, I have products, but not orders. I have promoting recovered, find a better suppliers and all of that. So just focus into the upper side. I click into find suppliers and here to find suppliers, you wanted to get started with sorted by here. It says ship from, I can throw this just to look out for products that are shipped from the United States. So this one should not be taking a lot of time to deliver. So I click into the United States and we have a lot of calories now here. So what I wanted to do is to look out for the product that I wanted to sell into my store. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to sell this uh, stuff. So I go and click into add to the import list and don't show this again. I'm going to hit down to stay. I'm going to select another product add to the import list. And lastly, I'm going to check out a new one. For example, only this one. Go into add to import list 
and there we go once you've filled once you selected all the elements that you wanted to sell into your actual own store you wanted to focus into the left part where you have the end pull list so as you can see we do have one two three products that we are now ready to send directly into our store so whether you can choose to push those to shopify automatically or edit it before you send this into into shopify in my case i wanted to do that so one by one for example i hit now into edit the product and this one should be taking me into the title the collections the type the tags the variants the description the images absolutely everything so in my case i wanted to first focus into the leading let's say for example this element here's my title you can change the image if you wanted to there's like a lot of uh, image that you can select in my case i'm going to focus into the second one there we go and now into the collections you want to go into home page the type you wanted to let's say that i wanted to create a shopify type let's go for chakra there we go i click them and then the text should be once again chakra and the bundle should be us so since we have an empty list you wanted to start by choosing the name of your store in my case is humans there you go so now i'm going to head down to variants and here into variants we have two products so what i want to do is to check it out the cost as you can see this one cost is 11 dollars plus the shipping cost is nine dollars so this one cost let's say for example like 20 almost 20 21 dollars where i wanted to sell this product like a little bit more expensive than it was before so once i edit all my elements i click here so i can import all of them i can push those to shopify so as you can see here's one to three products so now i want to go here into push to the online store i go into push to shopify uh, now what I need to do is to import the review just in case I have a fail to be passed. For example, the check the status. There we go. So as you can see, uh, what I need to do is to change a few things here into the description. So after that, I can go now into continue. So now what is left to be done after you saw that this one says um, that the successfully pushed number one import review check status. I wanted to go back here into my Shopify and focus into my products. If I click into my product, I should see that here is my product and the status and the inventory. So what is left to be done is to click here into my product and just make sure that the actual price is the one that we have just chose. In my case, we have the price of $11. So if I wanted to win, let's say for example, a couple of dollars here, I wanted to, let's say $23 and $23 and hit now into save. So there we go. After that, I'm gonna hit now into save I'm going to go into my online store and just focus into the customized section where I can see how it's going to be looking the page where I can start to buy my products. So there's actually like a lot of stuff to do after this, but this is the way how we can import stuff from uh, the dropshipper drop supplier of AliExpress into our store. So as you can see, here it is, it's actually working. So there you go. What is left to be done is just to customize your stuff, start by editing taxes, shipping costs, rates, and all that. So I think I'm not caught with the base guy. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you find this video very really useful for you. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. And well, with that being said, I'll see you on the next video. See you soon.